few years ago, we saw the release of Mighty Gumvolt on the Nintendo 3DS. And now here in 2017, we're getting a follow-up called Mighty Gumvolt Burst, now out on the Nintendo Switch. But does this game end up bursting onto the gaming scene with a strong showing, or is it just a mighty failure? Mighty Gumvolt Burst is the sequel to Mighty Gumvolt, featuring two playable characters in Gumvolt from Azure Striker Gumvolt and Beck from Mighty No. 9. The game is a 2D action side-scroller very similar to the Mega Man franchise. The game's story revolves around Beck and Gumvolt being stuck in a virtual reality space and having to battle their way out. There's some sort of evil force afoot that is keeping them there, and eventually you find out who this evil is, but along the way you'll also have to battle the mighty numbers 1 through 8 from Mighty Number no. 9. The levels in the game for their stages are very much based on their Mighty Number no. 9 versions, at least as theme is concerned. The levels are all nicely designed for the most part and will challenge you here and there. There's an infinite number of lives though, so if you end up dying you just go back to the previous checkpoint. There are health items that you're able to find scattered throughout the level in different fruits, and you can use these at any time, including in the boss encounter. The good thing is though, if you do die after using them, you go back to the previous checkpoint with whatever fruits you had when you reached that checkpoint. So if you die during a boss and you already used all your health items, you get sent back to right before the boss with all the health items back. This doesn't mean that the bosses are a pushover though, you will still have to learn patterns and being able to best them by trying to figure out what works best in certain situations. Instead of getting a new ability once you defeat one of these mighty numbers, instead you are able to customize your weaponry for Beck and Volt. To do this, you have CP, starting with a total of a thousand, but you get upgrades along the levels, as well as you get a choice at the end of each stage once you complete it, to pick from one of three different items. Either picking a sticker, which kind of works as the game's collectibles, and there's a bunch of these throughout the game, you can upgrade your CP so that the total is higher, or you can pick a new attachment for your different customizations. Each one of the upgrades potentially added to your weaponry costs a certain number of CP, so you have to manage what works best and being able to get the weapon that you want within the budget that you currently have. These different weapon attachments and upgrades include the type of bullet that it is, the rate of fire, a spread shot, and a few other different things to play along with. Each person I'm sure that plays will figure out something that ends up working best for them in the long run. Along with the collectible stickers, there's also challenges for you to complete in each of the level to unlock even more stuff, as well as a hard difficulty mode that you're able to unlock once you complete the game for the first time. The controls in the game are very tight. Action, platforming all work very well, and there's some very enjoyable segments, whether it be in some of the tougher platforming or some of the more intense boss fights. I played through the game using the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, and it felt great. As to be expected, the game isn't particularly long, taking roughly between two and two and a half hours in order for me to beat it on my first playthrough. But with all the challenges, harder difficulties, and two playable characters, at least there's some replayability here for sure. From the technical side of things, though the game ran smoothly, I didn't run into major glitching, crashing, or slowdown of any sort. Mighty Gumvolt Burst is available now on the Nintendo Switch for $9.99. Overall, Inti Crates proves once again that they are great at creating retro gaming experiences, whether it be Mighty Gumvolt, Mega Man 9 and 10, or the more recent Blaster Master Zero. If you're a retro fan, you need to give this one a try for sure. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Mighty Gumvolt Burst an 8 out of 10. But anyway guys, that's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.